It, it is September, which means it is time for KnobCon number nine here in the Chicagoland area. As with many things that go under the header Chicagoland, it actually took me an hour and a half to two hours to get there. I took the Pace bus from the city of Chicago to Schaumburg, Illinois to see this year's mix of performances, gear demos, and whatever blend of general synth nerdery I could find. With the exception of the last one I'll talk about, I'm not really sure if I'll end up purchasing any of these because, I mean, it all just depends what fits into my workflow. Uh, but I do think these are really cool and uh, the demos were fun to film, so let's check it out. So I'm Ken with ASM, and what we have today is the ASM Hydrosynth Deluxe. This is our 73 note Polyphonic aftertouch, polytouch key bed, semi-weighted. We've wedged two hydrosynth engines under one hood. And that's allowed us to get 16 voices of polyphony in single mode, or you can stack two eight voice engines together. The multi allows you to change the balance from the lower to the upper and as a performance control. For instance, this carbonite patch is a really nice one because it's layered up. percussive patch and then we can it's very easy to set these up for performance uh, let's go ahead and talk about the Explorer which is our battery powered 37 key semi weighted polyphonic aftertouch polytouch key bed we make these in-house we have a solid metal base underneath here. This is the full eight voice hydrosynth engine in here. It's powered by eight AA batteries. Bare minimum, about three hours worth of life out of it. We have four macro encoders up here. The screen size is actually the same size as our screens down here, just with a little less window around it. Around back, we have our pitch, gate, mod, mod two, clock, phono, pedal, all right there. DIN MIDI as well as USB, electrically balanced outputs, and it's all nice and portable. We've got our new touch strips here, so you can quickly... And the response is really smooth. This is going to be $5.99, and this is $17.99, and we're looking to ship in November. This is the oh, yeah, Zoya yeah, Euro yeah. Bureau. It is the Zoya in a modular format. It's added four CV in, four CV out, left and right, inputs and outputs on the face of it, and then MIDI inputs, headphone input, and then push buttons instead of stomp switches. It has everything you need to make sense inside of it, or it can be an effect, it can be kind of your ultimate utility module. These CVMs and apps are freely assignable because so they could also do whatever you want them to do. And now it's just playing a chord with um, with a single Volper octave jack. It could be like an ultimate kind of effects box kind of thing. You can do like... This is uh, VCB Rack 2 and uh, it's being loaded in Ableton Live as a VST plugin. Uh, this will be available November of 21 for this year. So you can go full screen in the VST plugin. You can change the rack brightness to get kind of a, you know, it'll save your eyes at night. So it has a all new UI design. We've redesigned all the knobs, uh, all the component supports and cables. Since this is a VST plugin, all of the parameters are mapped into Ableton or whatever your DAW is. So you can actually click a parameter and when you move it, Ableton is aware of that so it can record that automation. You can actually go back and re-record automation, re-record how you're uh, performing the patch, and then uh, when you're done, uh, you can save the patch, uh, export a WAV file, and it renders offline just like any other VST plugin. Rack 2 comes in two versions. Uh, this is the Studio Edition. It works in your DAW, it's a VST plugin. And uh, it'll be $149. Alongside this, we have an identical open source version. The only difference is that it is uh, standalone. There are a lot of possibilities that the VST version opens up. Because uh, I see uh, VCB as 
more of just like an instrument that you can perform. I don't really have anything profound to say to round out this video, so here's some remaining footage that I thought looked or sounded pretty cool, and I hope you enjoyed seeing a peek into my journey at Nobcon.